This is Becky Legira for CoinGeek.com, here with Jerry Chan, the founder of Frobots. Yes, so psyched to have you. I'm so psyched that you're representing the coolest outfit at the LBC. <laughs> um, tell <laughs> So Jerry, I know you've been to quite a few of the conferences that the production company that does this event has put on in the past. Tell me your thoughts on this event here and how it might be potentially different from some of the others you've been to. Ooh, that's, that's an interesting one. I think this one's much more exciting Ooh. because, well one, it's uh, the focus is on blockchain. So yeah. it's very, very right in the title, it's, it's technology focused. And I think everybody here is here because they're interested in the technology, not, not for the free food and drinks. Yes. Because there aren't any. <laughs> so well, there, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So everybody here is here for the tech. And that's what's really exciting. I love that, Darren. I always love chatting with you because you're like my technical guy. You know so many things, so much, you have so much deep knowledge about Bitcoin and blockchain and you're good friends with Dr. Wright. You know so many things. And you started this project, Frobots, which is actually taking advantage of the incredible utility of blockchain, taking advantage of NFTs, doing something with them. Tell us where you are with Frobots and why this project is really exciting for you. Uh, it was really, really exciting to, to do Frobots because um, I actually got to build on a concept that I've been always playing with with the back of my head, which is distributed computation yeah. on, on using you know the, the blockchain infrastructure, but also to apply it to like a good cause. Like I'm very passionate about getting next generation of computer programmers and software engineers. And so to be able to make it a game, fun, a competitive way, so it's all about you know competition, a blockchain thing, for people to compete to see who can write the best code. And basically have them fight each other, like in a Tron like code of like digital world. And of course, all of this is made possible because we can, for the first time, wrap all of these digital entities in NFTs, right? And, and have a blockchain to let them interact with an economy that's not just within the bounds of the battle arena, right? So yeah, we're, we're super excited about it. Um, we're hoping, we're going to be going public beta. Yeah. So look, look, you know, keep an eye out on frobots.io and when we'll uh, open up the public beta for everyone to start trying to build their frobots and we'll probably run like a tournament with some prizes to see who can build, you know, do the best in our first, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, the throwdown, uh, the shakedown, the shatter drum, I don't know, the big robots tournament. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, we love tournaments, love prizes, maybe free food, you know? Free, free food and drinks. Free, 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 we'll give you like little like uh, chicken nuggets or the, the uh, attendees. NFTs. Yeah, the attendees, I was trying to remember the word. I was trying to remember the word. <laughs> But I know you are actually working with Asset Layer in this project of yours. And I know that you have a lot of great things to say about Asset Layer, which makes me happy because I love Jackson, Lasky, and team. Uh, tell me why you've chosen to work with Asset Layer and, and what bridges that they are building for you. Oh, yes, perfect. Because, I mean, I think every application that's trying to do NFTs, more than just the silly picture, right? Yes. The silly monkey pictures, yes. will eventually run up against the same issues that I did when I was thinking, okay, so I have these NFTs. How am I going to you know, control their use outside of my game, right? Or how am I going to uh, get everybody to be able to download to their wallets? Or how am I supposed to um, control the permissions? Like which games are allowed to use them and how? And all of these things, if the answer to all these questions is, I'm gonna have to write it myself. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I wanna write my game. I don't wanna have to write all of this plumbing. And so basically when I spoke to Jackson and asked him, he was like, oh, these, these are the things that he, they were addressing. I was like, oh my God, that's, thank God for you. Because this is exactly what I wanted. And, and I think that's why I was really excited to hear that somebody's looking at it. And I think it's a very viable business model because app, app layer applications like robots really don't care about the lower layer stuff. And we're happy to, you know, do a micro payment transaction sort of way to, fund the middle layer so they can manage all that NFT less stuff. And I, I really believe that with something with asset layer or something like it, we're going to eventually get to the state of like um, Ready Player One, like the, the, the Oasis, where you have all of these games and everybody's assets are in the Oasis, um, but they can use them in golf games, racing games, you know, um, first person shooters, but the assets are in the universe. And for that to happen, you really need an asset layer. Yeah, interoperability, that is the key. I love this, I love the collaboration between you. Amazing companies, amazing people. Jerry, thank you so much. Best of luck with Robots, can't wait to watch your progress. Thank you very much, Becky, always a pleasure talking oh, to you. I love it, and thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Legio for CoinGeek.com.
Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.